In this video, I'm going to show you how we can uh, retrieve the information from a database by using queries and reports. We are using Microsoft Access in this demonstration and the company uh, that is going to use this database has uh, a number of engineers. So one engineer can work in many projects and each project can have only one engineer assigned to it. Also, each engineer can have many credentials, while a specific credential can be related to a specific engineer. Uh, to create this structure, we have made the primary key of the engineer's table, the engineer ID, as a foreign key in the tables project. And also we have made the engineer ID a foreign key in table credentials. Um, so each credential that is recorded here with the institution and so forth is related to a specific engineer. And But uh, each one of these assigned credentials would be unique uh, with their own primary key. The same, each project will have its own primary key. Let us assume that our goal is to get a report uh, that includes the list of all of the projects that are done by a specific engineer uh, with the detail of the project and the detail of the, uh, the name and other information about the engineer responsible for the project. Um, if you open the projects table, uh, we will see that um, they have been doing a number of projects. And uh, one of the projects is done by employee E1. And three projects have been done by employee E2. And the nature of this foreign key primary key relationship is that for consistency and reliability, we just refer to an engineer by E2, which is the primary key related to that engineer in the engineer table. And uh, we just mention it here, so the data is consistent, and if a change needs to be done, it is done on the engineer's table, and we don't have to update the table, other tables all the time. But if you open the table like this, we will see that it lists the name of all of the, lists all of the projects, not only projects related to a specific engineer. So what we have to do is uh, we want to filter this data and we want to see uh, specific uh, projects that are done by engineer E2. Also, we don't want to refer to engineer E2. We want the report to show the name of the engineer uh, and so forth. How can we do this? We want to filter for specific rows that are basically related to a specific engineer. And let's assume that uh, we don't really want to see the province and the postal code in this report. We just want to know the street, city, street number, and the project description. Uh, and we are not interested in the postal code in the report that we are creating. So we have to also filter out these two columns. And uh, so we are selective about the columns that we want in this report. And also we are selective in the rows that are uh, in this report. So we need to filter it. Opening the table like this or even creating a table, a report on this table is not going to do the filtering for us. But I will show you what will happen if we create a report without filtering first. Okay. So we want to create a report of all of the projects. To do that, we go to create and then we click on report wizard. Then we will choose the project table. If it is not chosen, it's already chosen. And I will select the columns. So basically, this is the, those, the filtering that I said, the, the columns that we want will be selected. I want to know the project ID, the engineer who is responsible for it, the street number, the street name, and uh, city. I don't want postal code and province. I want to have the project description. 
Then I can choose the way that the project is created. So the name of the engineer responsible will be at the top and the projects will be listed after that. I can sort them if I want and I will choose landscape so it fits to the screen as much as possible. Okay, and let's call this um, RPT projects. Now we have a report, uh, uh, but unfortunately the same problem that we had in the table, uh, the table is not designed for human usage, it's designed for data integrity. So the project uh, ID is shown up, the engineer ID is also shown up, but it's not readable for humans. Also, all of the projects are listed and all of the engineers are listed. If I wanted just to create a list of those that are related to engineer two, this doesn't work. Okay, so what should we do? Uh, that's when the query is necessary. Query enables us to filter horizontally the rows that we are interested in and vertically the columns that we are interested in. So we are going to create a query and that query is going to help us to do the filtering. Then we will create a similar report but based on that query that has the subset of the information. Um, uh, so basically uh, we will create a report based on that query. Okay, To create the query we click on create, then we click on query wizard. This query is a simple query that I'm going to show you. And uh, now in this query, I am interested in a specific set of fields like before, project ID, engineer responsible, street number, street name and city, and the description. This is what I want to be in that report. Okay, let's call it projects query and when we run the projects query uh, it shows up like a table that has the columns that we were interested in but it still shows all of the rows regardless of what is the row that we are interested in now to see the specific result uh, a specific set of rows based on a condition uh, we have to go to the the design mode of this qu uh, query. So we right click on projects query and we go to design view. Okay. Now in this view we see that uh, these are the fields that are selected to be in this query and they're coming from this table. If I wanted to remove a field, let's say if city is not necessary for the current purposes, I can simply cut it. So it's not in the query anymore. And uh, if I want now to also filter for a specific engineer, if I know the engineer ID, I can type here equals to, and then I type the engineer ID that I'm interested in, which is engineer ID number two in this case. Now I close this query, I save it, I run it again, only the projects that uh, the engineer responsible for them is E2 will show up. Okay. Uh, however, this way of the result set that we are creating is not really still very useful because it sh yes, it is. It has filtered the rows that we are interested in. Only engineering two shows up. Only the columns that we are interested in show up. But uh, the problem is that engineering. Engineer 2 is not really revealed to us who is it, and this is not a really a useful report for the managerial purposes. So I now we'll create the same report, the same query again, uh, and this time I'm going to, so let's get rid of this. So delete this. We are going to create that query such that the information is more uh, useful. So again we do create query wizard simple query wizard uh, this time um, I want to create a, a query from the projects I want the engineer responsible to be the first column of this query but I really don't want the engineer ID to show up I want the first name and last name of the engineer to show up 
And that is enough if I point to engineer table and bring in the first name and last name of the engineer. Uh, so the system will automatically follow the foreign key to the primary key for every project. And from the primary key side, which is the engineer table, we'll bring in the first name and last name of the engineer. Going back to our projects table, I will add the project ID. And I don't need to include the primary, the foreign key of the engineer here, because now we have the first name and last name of the engineer. And then the street number and the street name and then project description okay. and then I say continue and let's call this one engineers query with names uh, this is a nicer report um, uh, this is called the result set of that query uh, it shows all of the engineers uh, which we want to filter for Mary. We, we see that those three projects were actually related to Mary Anderson, and we want to filter this report to only point to Mary Anderson. So what we will do is that uh, we go to design mode of this newly created query, and here we'll see that the fields are shown up, and we can filter it based on the last name, Anderson. If I save this query now, then now we have a very useful report. Mary Anderson is the engineer who is responsible for these three projects at these addresses. You could choose any columns that you are interested in, of course, in any real life scenario that you will be working with. The problem here is that um, you know, what if we wanted to choose another person? What if we wanted to create a report about the other engineer and the projects that he's working on? Uh, then we have to go back to the query design and change this to the last name of the engineer. We can make our queries such that they have a dialog box. It's very important to make it easy for the users. And to do that, instead of typing the the name of the uh, the last name of the person that we are interested in, we will ask the user uh, to give us the the last name of the person that he is interested in. And to do so, uh, to do that, we actually define a variable with a prompt that will ask the the user uh, in a dialog box to enter the information. So, in fact, I am creating a variable, but uh, we call the name of that variable enter the last enter the last name of the engineer responsible for the project it's a relatively long uh, variable name but that is what the users of this query will see Basically, I'm defining a very uh, long variable name. Uh, this variable is not defined. Therefore, the program will automatically prompt the user to, to give that. And uh, when the user provides that last name, that last name would be used uh, to filter um, the table. And then it will show up. Okay, So let's close this query. And then if we run this, as expected, the dialog box shows up. Now we have a query that actually is communicating with the user. The user types Robinson and Alan Robinson uh, projects. Uh, there's only one project. If when the user uh, runs the query types Anderson, then All of the projects that are related to Mary Anderson will show up. So now we have a dynamically adjustable query. And um, also, it has the rows that we are interested in and a specific columns that we are interested in. 
And the next step will be to make it beautiful uh, by creating a report based on this uh, result set. Okay, so now that we have the result set, we go to create report wizard. But this time, instead of choosing the projects table, we create a report based on the query that we just created. And this query, in fact, has all of the filtering. So our task is very simple. Uh, all of these fields that we see uh, in the results of the query are actually the ones that we chose one by one. So we can simply add all of them. And also notice that the query will ask us the question. So it will be about a specific engineer. And now it asks uh, the report uh, wizard is asking us, how do you want it to be seen? And that's good. So it will uh, put the first name and last name of the engineer and the prod projects that they are working on. And uh, in the next step, we can, uh, uh, if you want to have groupings, let's say if you wanted to have uh, all of those projects that are in Vancouver to be separated from those that are in North Vancouver, we could choose the grouping here. And we can also sort it. Let's say we want to sort it based on the uh, street name. And then we we change it to landscape so the screen will have enough space for us to, to see the project. And now we save it as, uh, let's call it project report. Uh, notice that when we run that uh, report, because it is based on the query, this query that we just created, engineer's query, is asking us for which engineer do you want it? We say Robinson is the last name of the project engineer. Uh, oh, that was only, he has only one project. And if I ra run this uh, report, project reports, then I type Anderson, then I will get a report that is uh, nicely formatted. It has the name of the engineer and the projects that that engineer is working on. Um, of course, we can make this uh, report as beautiful as we wish by going to the design mode of this uh, uh, report and we can uh, add the logo of the company here. So, for example, uh, let's say this is the logo of your company. You can resize it, put it wherever you like. And uh, also, you can give your report a nice name. And also, I can change the background color and uh, other uh, properties that we may be interested in changing. So I just do one, and then you can explore the other possibilities uh, yourself. So change the background of the header to blue. Then I save it, and I suggest you explore all of the other possibilities there. And if I run this, uh, and I type Anderson, then we have a nicer report. And you can work on the, this uh, report uh, well in design mode uh, at your as you like and make it more and more beautiful